Let's talk about the AI bubble and why I think that AI bubble isn't bursting anytime soon. So the thing about asset bubbles is that they are often fueled by debt. When it comes to AI, what we're seeing is a lot of companies taking on debt in order to build data centers. And they're willing to take out this debt because they believe that those data centers are going to pay off in the long run and they will be able to pay back those debts. We saw a similar thing happen during the housing market bubble. Homeowners took on a lot of debt in order to buy homes that increased the prices of homes and that led to a bubble in home prices that eventually bursted when interest rates went up and the homeowners couldn't afford to pay back that debt anymore. But this AI bubble is a bit different. Interest rates are already quite high because the Fed has had to keep interest rates high in order to fight inflation. And that means that it's actually pretty expensive for these AI companies to take on debt. They're not getting these great interest rates that allow them to make really big bets on data centers. They've actually been held back a bit. And we've seen some of the bigger tech companies actually pay cash for these data centers instead of taking on debt. If you think of an asset bubble as a balloon, debt is kind of like the air that goes into the balloon. If you blow up the balloon with not very much air, yes, it's a balloon, yes, it could potentially burst, but it's probably not as likely to burst as that balloon that you keep on blowing on and blowing up and up and up until any little prick will pop it. Part of the reason that we entered into the foreclosure crisis, which caused the Great Recession, was because the Fed chair, Alan Greenspan, kept interest rates really low when home prices were getting higher and higher. And because interest rates were low, home buyers kept taking on debt because that debt was so cheap. But right now, debt is actually kind of expensive. Now, it's the Federal Reserve's job to mostly focus on inflation and unemployment. That's their dual mandate. It's not really their job to worry about bubbles or think about how interest rates might be fueling those bubbles. But the people who run the Federal Reserve are economists, and they are definitely aware that high interest rates are helping keep this AI bubble under control. If they were to lower interest rates, it would mean that these tech companies would likely take on even more debt and invest even more money in these data centers, which might not pay off. And if they were to do that, then there would be a much higher likelihood that they overinvest. And when those investments don't pay out, it might take down the entire economy. So it'll be interesting to see how the Fed reacts, if they are more reluctant to lower interest rates, because they know in the back of their heads that the lower interest rates get, the more likely they are to be fueling a bubble that could lead to a recession. I'm Daryl Fairweather, Redfin's Chief Economist. If you'd like to learn more about how the economy is changing and how that impacts you, follow for more.